Today I'll be reading When Lobot Grows Up, the Daddy Edition. Good morning, sleepyhead. I've been up for a while. While well, sipping coffee by your bed as dreams made you smile. Wondering where your mind goes when your eyes close and wishing I knew the worlds you travel through. I know soon you'll be living your own story and there'll be chapters without me. But life is a journey. It's quite a ride with many roles to be played and many parts to be tried. This world calls me Brad, but only you call me Dad. And of all my jobs, it's the best one I've ever had. And now I'm thinking about the things you, Lobot, might do. Where you might end up. What is in store for you. So before Mom wakes up, listen to me. Tell me you what I think you'll grow up to be. A sign, do not enter, on the door of the inventor Shows Lilbot busy in her lab, her hair all frizzy Obsessed with some test or new science fad And Dad's right, it'll be another late night For breakfast she whips up quantum contraptions At lunch she reheats some test tube reactions A hunch for a cure sure sounds good for dinner And make her a wise Nobel Prize winner So when she stops by for a well-deserved break I'll grill her a steak while she makes our heads spin, filling us in on her next groundbreaking case, and how she will make this world a better place. And if Lilbot takes a giant leap into a deep space career, she'll have close encounters with the final frontier, and I'll be happy to hear any alien secrets she'll reveal when sh the gravity of family pulls her home for a meal. And since she'll command her own rocket ship, we can skip that old trip that we usually choose and enjoy stellar views and lose the traffic and shopping, have a space station vacation and go planet hopping. Call it sci-fi, but I'll bet she'll get homesick and sneak away from her crew to get through to HQ. Houston, she'll say, I'm light years away and have wormholes to roam, but before I go on, I'd like to phone home. If a guru of flavor is what you grow up to be, oh, how I will savor what you will cook for me. Look at Chef Lobot in that white hat, whipping up sauces, dipping fillets, serving risottos, beef wellington, and souffle. I'll be glad if you make me a steak, and I'll save some room for dessert, because I crave your cheesecake. Ooh, and a prize-winning pie like Grandma would bake. So when most folks are waiting for a seat, I'll boast about how my kid's food can't be beat. And hey, did you know this is her restaurant? I get the best table, whatever I want. Vroom. It's the final lap. We all clap and cheer as Lilbot burns rubber and flies by in high gear. They're hot on her heels, but she's lightning on wheels. She's the ace of the race with real nerves of steel. That's my girl in victory lane, her high-octane ride there by her side, her mom bursting with pride. Well, I tell everyone that in our family, Lilbot is the fastest one. And though you're a pro, I still worry, you know. But you smile and you say, Dad, what's the big deal? I just take the wheel and hold on to it tight. And from there, there's only two choices. Turn left or turn right. Look up in the sky. Is that a plane? Not the bird. That's my little bot in the... What's the word? The driver's seat. Or is that just with cars on the street? Well, fast and loud and above the clouds, in the cockpit, ooh, that's the one, under the sun or through a storm, dressed in her nice pressed uniform, Captain Lilbot brings the wings around just right. She always has a pleasant flight. I'd never have guessed that I'd be so blessed that my girl would whirl me down to Key West. Oh, and one last request I'd just love to see, like in a movie, as you fly by our place, could you trace in the sky a heart high above it? A little trick just for mom, you know she would love it. Well, that night you were born, a storm had been brewing. A loud bang from a menacing cloud. It's a blur, don't ask me how, but wow, there you were. A real superhero with superhuman powers in a suit and a cape who knows no fear can fly high up into the atmosphere. Sometimes you grab my hand and whoa, up we go into the sky so fast and so free just for fun or because we've got some place to be and you fight crime you bring bullies to their knees you help kids get their kites down from trees thank you so much miss what is your name well i'm super lobot but i'm in it for justice not for fame 
Oh, I must admit, Lil Bot, I'd be very glad, as would Mom, might I add, if you became a doctor. I know I don't like the sight of a white coat. Not that I'm scared, but I'd rather be spared from a stranger looking down my throat. Unless it's you, for that I'm prepared. I do have three wishes. One. I know your hand is trained to be steady and sure, so widen writing a cure for those who need it. Do them a favor, make sure they can read it. 2. Be kind to tiny humans, I know it's only for their own sake, and a pinprick is all it takes, but my heart still breaks to see them cry and cringe at the sight of a pointy syringe. And 3. When I'm ill with a chill, I'm aching and shaking, and I think this is it. The game's over, I'm old. Please, examine me calmly and say, Hey, Dad, don't worry. It's only a cold. Well, when there's smoke, fire is not far away, and reasing to keep those flames at bay, or just to put out a five-alarm barbecue, it's firefighter Lilbot here to the rescue. Be it earthquake, flood, or fire, she will never tire. If she can't reach, she will courageously climb higher. To help a kitten down from a tree, no matter how small, she is a brave hero and the one who saves all. She is determined and strong, and everyone can see that her heart is in the right place, and she got that from me. And to Professor Lilbot, I profess this desire. Reach out when you teach. Be a resource your students admire. And make yours a course that's true to inspire. Find diamonds in the rough and advise off the cuff and know how to slow down when they've had enough. And keep things upbeat, bring in sweet treats to eat. It's like I've always taught, hungry minds need real food for thought. You'll make them believe that there's nothing they can't achieve with good books on their shelves and when they think for themselves, you'll pass on your passion and you'll give them the yearning to never, ever stop learning. And no sweat if it's Java, Ruby, or Python. The night's still young, and as long as the coffee is strong, that is our Lilbot, she's completely leet, no newbie. Writing code as clean as the world has ever seen. And not to distract you any longer, Lilbot, before you restart your smart cyber mind, please enter the code so your system will load the call dad routine. Once a day would be fine. And you know me. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and whatever it is you grow up to be, I will pull out all the stops to see you achieve anything you set your mind to. Just believe in your heart. Let it guide you. And every time your heart beats, I feel it too. It's a rhythm, a bond. It's between me and you. And it makes no sound, and it cannot be seen. But as sure as the sun sets, the longer we live, the stronger it gets. If you need gentle arms to hold you, mine will wrap you tight. If you need a hand getting up, mine will lift with all its might. And words get in the way because it's not something you say. It's something you show. It's like giving a hug and not letting go. And a hug is one thing you'll never outgrow. That's just how it is, Lobot. Because Dad says so. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. From your dad, Brad.